wondering, you said that a microprocessor is like the brain for us. It processes information or data in a computer, right? Yes, that's about right. Well then, the book mentions a lot of things like 64-bit processors, multi-core chips, dual-core processors and parallel processing. Well, my question was that, what are all these things? Cause a brain is a brain is a brain. There are not types of brain, right? Of course, Mary. But you see, a chip is similar to a brain, but not exactly like it. The computing power is still much lower compared to a brain. And so, there needs to be an improved system which enables faster and better processing of data. Then, can you explain me all of this? Because I really would like to know. Aren't you becoming the studio's one? Okay, let's take a fun example. Imagine, you're a surgeon and are performing an operation on Bosco. Yes, this should be fun. Let's do something neat to Bosco. Sketch pen. Duct tape. Now you see, Miri, as you are the surgeon, the same way the microprocessor is working. Sometimes, there is a lot of work for a single processor. Give me some sponge. Scissors. Gum. Brush. Come on, come on. Make it quick. Just like your situation, there is too much data to be processed for a single microprocessor chip. Sketch pen. Duct tape. Brush. Sponge. Scissors. Gum. Then the computer and work starts becoming slow. So what do I do now? Well, for that, there are multi-core chips. Huh? What are those? See your set of hands. Imagine if you had two more. Thanks for that. Well, just the way those extra hands added the ability for you to work more, the extra cores enable the computer to process more data at a single time. Well, that's clear now. Thanks for explaining that. But what is parallel processing? I thought you would never ask that. Now imagine just like you're working on his face. There is a need to work on his leg at the same time. It would be impossible for you to do both. Impossible? Look behind you. So you have another surgeon operating there independently for you. Yes, that sounds practical. Well, in the same way, parallel processing allows the computer to run two simultaneous processes on two or more independent chips. Ah, I see. Thanks, Teddy, for explaining. But you left the 64-bit processing. What's that? You know about bits. Older processors could work on 32 bits of data simultaneously. But for faster processing, newer chips can handle 64 bits of data. This enables the computer to work faster and process information in a much faster way. Hmm, that explains why Sid was insisting on a 64-bit computer microprocessor. Well done, doctor, on another successful surgery. <laughs> that was awesome, Tiri. We must do something like that in reality. Let's do it. <laughs> 